How often do you meet new people? You'd like to continue your acquaintance with one of them. And you'd like to break up with someone and forget about the meeting as soon as possible. It all depends on the first impression. It is proven that the first impression of a person is formed in a few seconds and fixed in the nearest minute. Your clothes, appearance, manner of communication, and behavior create your image and influences an opinion of you in the head of the conversation partner. Who are you and how he sees you in his life? When we see a stranger, our first thoughts are, can I trust this man? And what is he capable of? Our first impression depends on the answers to these questions. So how do you create a good first impression? We have a few secrets. One of the main factors for successful dating is healthy self-confidence. We say healthy because you don't have to flaunt your achievements or good qualities. The best qualities you can display when you meet someone are mindfulness, speed, and a sense of humor. It's worth noting that self-confidence is given to some people from birth, and some are instilled by their parents. But if you're shy from birth, our advice will help you. So one thing you can do, work out. Perhaps nothing is better for self-confidence than to be satisfied with yourself or your body. If you see athletic or in-shape guys at school or on the beach that make you feel insecure, it's time to look out for yourself. Eat right. Take a look at one of our lessons on healthy eating. It's no secret that more than 50% of success in training is eating the right food and rejecting the tasty, harmful foods. So start working out. For starters, don't set unrealistic goals. Ambition is certainly commendable, but there is a chance that you will burn out and eventually become disappointed. Start small and raise the bar regularly. For example, just start walking with a quick step. Go to the park, put on headphones with your favorite podcast or music, and just walk and think. Visualize yourself in a sports body. It is very important to do this every day, every day for 30 to 60 minutes, and you will see the results in a couple of weeks. But don't forget nutrition. Start with five to 10 push-ups every day with no rest, and you'll see your upper body tighten. And with that, your self-esteem. We will discuss this further in other videos. Your clothes. For centuries, a person's clothes have been his or her business card. Your clothes say a lot about you. Remember, the most important thing is that your clothes are clean, not wrinkled nor torn, and have a pleasant smell. Whether you dress fashionably or not, this is not the main issue, because the more educated, cultured person will never laugh at you or make jokes about it, because they know that everyone has their own level of income and opportunities. Keep an eye on yourself. Fingernails, hair, teeth, and the body is something to look after all the time. You should agree. Who wants to have a conversation with a person who has bad breath? unkempt fingernails and is not well groomed. You want to run away from a man like that and never look back. Give the first word to your companion. Let him have the conversation and you keep it going. Asking good questions means clarifying and supporting the person you're talking to. Suppose you capture the initiative from the very first minutes of the conversation. In that case, you would be considered aggressive and overwhelming and it will work against your favor. Trust and warmth appear when people feel that they are understood. And to do so, they need to share a lot. Listen up actively and listen to the person you're talking to. Don't plan on saying anything. If you're not trying to understand what he's talking about and not asking him questions, you're not talking. So during the conversation, there's no point in finishing the phrase for him as soon as he begins to speak. Interrupting without letting him finish the story or joyfully jumping in the middle of his monologue with a ready solution to his problem. Human nature's desire to help from the outside looks like you're telling your companion, hey, I get it, now you can stop. I know better. Please understand it destroys the trust. So imagine this situation. 
you have come to a new class and share your interests, hobbies, and life story with the guys. They interrupt you and impose their point of view. Do you want to keep talking to people like that? Use positive body language. If your gestures, facial expressions, and voice tone are positive, people will reach out to you. If your voice is confident, your hands are not crossed, and you lean slightly towards your companion, that's a good start. It's not hard to do. Let's just say it's easy. Also, remember to smile and look into the eyes. No negative. During the first conversation, never discuss negative incidents or judge the actions of others. Only positive. Suppose you leave a positive impression of yourself in the memory of the companion by avoiding negativity. In that case, it creates a positive imprint in his memory, and all your further actions will be perceived positively. So we've analyzed the important moments of behavior during the first acquaintance. Take advantage of them, and you will be perceived as an intelligent, decent, erudite person. Remember. Small, discreet things make a good impression, and strangely enough, they give us confidence.